well. Let's uh, give it a try. So this is my first time playing Rust and we're on a medium pop official server a few days into the wipe so most people will likely be established already with blueprints and guns but hey, we gotta start somewhere. There we go. It took a year and a half. So I marked on the map somewhere I kinda wanna build. Oh and don't worry about the motion blur, I turned that off pretty early on thanks to the Twitch chat. After a bit of farming, I was soon to be greeted by my first player interaction. Metal. Oh shit, uh, oh. Hey, welcome to Rust. <laughs> this was the type of welcome I expected, so I didn't let that get me down. I was determined to get a foothold somewhere, and after a little farming, I was able to slap down my very first base, a tiny little one by one starter. I figured it was just a matter of time before someone more established in the area would decide to raid me while I was weak, so I set out to farm some stone and also to look for animal fat and low grade fuel to make a furnace. Getting metal frags, cooking ASAP is important to survival in Rust. We should probably go along the road too, because that's where all those like barrels spawn. I know the red ones can have low grade fuel. Which we definitely need. Starts making that little creaky noise, you know it's about to go. I mean, I could mine the sulfur, but we like, we just don't need it. Not yet. That's so far, that's like late game, mid, mid and late game stuff we really want. A lot of stone and it takes, it takes some metal. No, I never played Rust. I mean, I played it for like an hour or two once, but no, not really. I watch a lot of YouTube content on it, so like, I feel like I have like a gist of what I'm supposed to do. I just, in practice, haven't actually done it. So like, even though I understand, some of the times you might see me like understanding what I'm supposed to do, but doing it very slowly and shittily. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you guys think my base is pretty dope? Okay, let's start upgrading a little more. Let's at least make the base, like, stone. <laughs> uh, let's just do a basic airlock for now. So we need those. Uh, like that. And... I'm so fucking slow. I just don't know, like, where the... I'm not used to like the mu I have no muscle memory is what I'm trying to say. Uh, one of those. One of those. One of those. I don't know if it's gonna open inward. How do I flip it? Oh, I just did it. I think that's right. So that opens in and this should open out. I should make a basic airlock, so if my doors are open, you can't- you, you literally can't, like, run through. That's the whole, like, logic behind that. It's good that we live near this stuff. I don't think I want the car parts. Right. So this could have fuel in it. Ah, oh, should use my spear anyway. I don't know what those are, except for the scrap. That's cool. A large wooden sign. What every growing noob needs. Like, man, I don't have any supplies. I could really use a random sign right now. Holy fuck, what is that thing? Jesus Christ, man. So I may have built my base just outside a giant clan compound without realizing it, but we'll get back to that later. We still didn't quite have enough low grade to build a furnace, so for now I decided to craft a bow and bring all the components I'd gathered from these barrels to a nearby mining outpost to recycle. 
my first adventure. <laughs> Good luck, yeah, I know. It's just gonna be some geared guy there. <laughs> That doesn't seem like any of my business. My first kill, naked, full of loot, and apparently AFK. A lucky scenario for a noob like me. But now it was time to find that recycler. Someone's using it. I hear it. Right? He looks beefy, yeah. Okay, we gotta get back. See, originally I left a little bit of stuff on that guy. Is that a gun? Or just like a piece of a gun? I heard something. I don't know if it's like a horse or what. Oh, there is a guy. Oh, it's a gun? Yeah. See a lot more barrels, but this is our best run so far. Try not to be too greedy. Oh, this game has auto run? I didn't realize. My fucking hand hurts. <laughs> Just holding you shift basically the entire time. Hey, we did it. All right. Big run. Big money. <laughs> Water pipe shotgun, that's dope. Our first recycling run was a success and I even found my first gun. Sure, it was just a water pipe, but it might come in handy later. For now, I need to focus on getting that last bit of low-grade fuel to craft a furnace. It's kind of terrifying how many active bases I have to run by to get to that recycler. <laughs> Pants. What does that say? A lantern? See what I mean? Those guys are popping up there. Y'all got any low grade?
Not the smartest beast in the world. Need the bear, yeah. Yeah, you said that man, his health is low. Okay, it was. I don't really have anything to harvest him with. Hold up, hold up. With the animal fat from the horse and the bear, we were finally able to turn it into enough low-grade fuel to craft the furnace. With this, we smelted down all our metal ore into metal fragments and used those to replace the crappy wooden doors on our base with metal ones and expand as well. Overall, our base was still fairly weak to explosive raids, but it was much stronger than before. After this, I set out looking for more materials to attempt a second recycling run. The playing piano? Oh, that's very nice, man. You're very good at that. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? What's up? How you doing? Uh, where'd, you, where'd you find this thing, man? Yeah, sh sh should. Oh, nah, I made it yet. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Sprint button. Holy fuck, this guy's quick. Whoa! I got that song stuck in my head now. <laughs> Yo, can't you farm these? <laughs> Rose signs and metal pipe. Lol. Hello, man. Hello, buddy. How are you today? Oh, nice uh, ore. So far, I'm all right. All right, we're not gonna. He's nice. My fucking horse is stuck, though. Go, <laughs> Mr. Horse. What happens if you die? Uh, people can just loot all your shit, and then you can you can respawn randomly, or if you have a house with a sleeping, or if you have a sleeping bag somewhere, you can spawn on that. And uh, I don't want to go back for that herb; I missed it. And uh, if you have a like a bed or something, you want to put one in your house, so you can spawn in your house. That's mine right there. Whoa. Home sweet garbage. After returning home to drop off all the farm we'd collected, I began researching some blueprints on the workbench, smelting more ore, and cooking food into the night. Then we heard something. A lot of things, actually. Is that a helicopter? Oh my god. That's probably what he's shooting at, right? Lost. 
We're just gonna stay in here. Well, this is terrifying. Sneak out and like grub it <laughs> during the fight. With so many heavily armed players right outside my house, it felt like I had zero chance of doing anything about this heli. However, in the morning, I decided to try my luck mining all the broken parts of it for metal, hoping everyone had cleared out by now. Wow. God damn. I dropped off my greedy little helicopter haul, which I used to upgrade the core room to sheet metal and headed out for another recycling run. There's a guy right there. Uh, I'm run that back actually. He had a th I mean, he had a hundred frags. I guess that's kind of worth. I don't have any scrap really. Take my fucking arrow. Oh, he's got a knife. Motherfucker came at me with a knife! Nothing to farm. Could mean somebody's here. Oh shit, helicopter? Uh oh. Isn't that really bad? <laughs> Damn. There was two. I heard them, but I was trying to get inside because of the helicopter. In an effort to escape the sight line of the helicopter, I'd run into a duo without realizing it. An unfortunate mistake. But I wouldn't let this get me down, so I grabbed another bow and headed back. Fuck off, bro. Alright. What did we actually get? I wasn't really looking. Oh, a thousand wood. I have no wood. That's actually really good to find. <laughs> I could start the things. What is this? Heavy plate pants. Oh, that seems pretty good. I went out to farm for another hour or so, expanded the base even further, and went out to roam again. I love the way they pull out the bow, how it flips up. That's so cool. Oh, what the fuck? Huh. I, I just like decided to give up, I guess. I was gonna do it. <laughs> Actually, oh shit. Hello, man. How you doing? It's okay. 
I just making sure you weren't gonna attack me, that's all. It's okay, it's okay. It's like has he? Oh my god! Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? I died to a boar! Hold on, I can run back. I can run back. Maybe. Get up! Goddamn chances, man. I was friendly to those guys and they tried to kill me. A valuable lesson indeed. After that fight, I expanded my base a bit further out and then heard some explosives going off in a nearby neighborhood, so I grabbed my bow to go have a look. I figured there probably wasn't much I could do, but the only way to really learn a game like this is to just get in there and try. Torch tapped him. True. I see two actually. Could be this base. If that was them, then they sealed it though. Okay. Are they just running down a line, like satcheling everybody? Oh, what? I see him, I see him, I see him. I like that his bow still wiggles at running speed. Oh, not anymore. Oh, they'll see me. Shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Damn, that kind of fucked me, though. That other guy snuck up and saw me on my hiding spot. I was gonna wait for the other guys to come back. He's looking at me, I think. Oh, maybe not.
Oh, there they are. Yeah, I think they see me. Do we have eight? It's not great. The jig is up. There's too many. Dude, I love that effect on the grass though. That's so cool. <laughs> Suck my ass. Oh shit, I heard that shot. That was closer. I'm getting a uh, sun nipe and niped. Remember that compound I accidentally built near? Apparently they were online now and roof camping, likely drawn out by the sound of the explosives. I healed up and managed to get back inside safely. I had to clear off for the day and figured one of these groups would probably try to raid me. Knowing I couldn't get up to my roof to honeycomb it, I upgraded the core's roof to high quality metal and hoped for the best. Alright, let's see if we got raided. Oh. Apparently not. That's not good. <laughs> Get in the house, I guess. I don't know if you can harvest with this, but I'm just gonna try. Day two wasn't terribly eventful, but I did spend some time learning some blueprints and building some early stage weapons and ammo to get a feel for it. When the wipe hits this Thursday, I'll be ready. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more Rust content on this channel, and if you enjoyed the video, remember to like it as well. This game is a lot of fun to work with, and I look forward to learning more and bringing you guys better and better content. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.